Hey guys, uh, what's going on? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn how to use Terraform to create an AWS EC2 instance and deploy a simple web application. Now first, what does it do? What does Terraform do? It is an infrastructure as code tool. Infrastructure as code is the process of provisioning and managing infrastructure as in your VM, your storage, network, things like that by using a declarative code and uh, we'll look at an example of such code terraform can work with multiple cloud vendors aws azure gcp and so on and with aws it can work with uh, many many services ec2 is what we are going to see but uh, it can also work with s3 rds dynamo db etc well, for the demo what you need is well you need an aws account uh, basically you can use a free tier and you can uh, try out this demo like you can follow along if you want and to do this demo you do need a default vpc and a default subnet and i will leave some resources in my description and you can follow that and you should be able to create it like when you create an account Usually it comes with a default VPC and a default subnet and uh, I'll try to make a video for that as well and also you need an EC2 instance with admin role or you can configure AWS CLI on your laptop or desktop uh, locally and you can run Terraform commands from your laptop but I prefer running Terraform uh, from EC2 instance because that is the right way to do it. Okay, so this is what we have uh, to start with, right? You know, when you have signed up for an AWS account, you should have a VPC. This is your virtual private cloud. And of course, uh, it comes with uh, the router and there's some entries in the routing table. You don't have to worry about this. So, and of course, there is a internet gateway and you need a default subnet. And this will be a public subnet because we're gonna open uh, the firewall to this subnet. So we'll look at that. And, uh, and this is what we are gonna create. Actually, we're gonna create a security group using Terraform and an EC2 instance. And in the security group, we are gonna define rules such that uh, the security group will allow inbound connections from internet. We should be able to get to our EC2 instance. And in our EC2 instance, we, we are gonna deploy uh, an application. These are high level steps. Step one is basically we need to download and install Terraform software, right? So what I am going to do is basically let me show you my AWS console. So I have an EC2 instance created and this will be the instance where I will be running the Terraform commands from. So I'm going to grab the public IP here and I'm going to go here and try to log into my EC2 instance. And this is the first time I'm logging in. So there might be some errors here and there and we should be able to take care of it. And I do need my private key. Yep logged in successfully so let's actually switch to root and to download terraform we need uh, need a couple of uh, utilities so i'm just going to get those utilities first just w get and unzip so these are the ones that i need first and then i'm going to download i think the latest version of terraform at the time of this video this is my terraform software and and i will leave all these commands in the descriptions and also i'll leave a github link uh, you don't have to worry about uh, typing it or memorizing it so we have the terraform right here and then i'm going to unzip it so unzipped and i'm going to move just move it to a place where i can call without uh, the full path so i'm going to move it to user i have the terraform binary here or the executable i'm going to move it to user bin okay let's just test it out so terraform so that gives me the version so that's v0.14 oh it's already out of date but the latest version is 14.3 but anyway this is going to work let's first create our configuration file and i'll try to explain what is in the configuration file so this is our configuration file or sometimes it's called a module. As you can see, it starts with, so basically we're saying AWS is the required provider 
for this configuration and we are defining the region in which our EC2 resource is going to be created. First of all, you can see this is a, a, a JSON kind of language, but then it's not exactly JSON because you don't see colons. It's actually, uh, you see a lot of equal to sign. And then this is actually HashiCorp, which is the company which created uh, Terraform. So the, they call it HashiCorp language. So we have the, the provider, the region, and then data, meaning like we're gonna query some data out of uh, our AWS. You know, we need an AMI to create a, an easy to instance. So I hard coded the AMI ID here and I just grabbed it from, let's say I go here and launch instance and that brings up a bunch of AMIs. And as you can see, this is the one I, I got. This is like a filter, a filter that I used uh, to uh, to filter this AMI and this AMI is owned by Amazon. Owners basically takes uh, account ID and Amazon Marketplace and things like that. And all these syntax definitions are available in, um, in Terraform website. So if you go and like, let's say if you need to find out the syntax just type terraform and data so that gives you this and then you can just uh, you know get the syntax from here you can modify it and so on so always like check out uh, terraform documentation to get the syntax uh, you know whatever syntax you need then we are going to define some resources right so this section is basically going to say like here I'm saying like I need a security group a security group if you are not uh, aware of AWS terminologies is basically like a firewall so you can say okay my traffic is gonna the inbound traffic is gonna come from anywhere like you can put your own IP if you want and I'm actually gonna destroy these instances right away uh, just to protect myself from hackers but then like yeah when you do create these um, instances like uh, be careful about that like you know create the instances and then destroy them right away you can put your own IP in here uh, there are ways to do that or you can put uh, whatever signature block that you're interested in so these are my inbound rules right so I am actually allowing port 80 from the world basically and then port 22 so I can SSH to this box if I want and also outbound is basically uh, like I'm, I don't have to define it explicitly for security group uh, because when you define inbound rules security group is it, it automatically defines the outbound rules so I just gave it a tag so a resource right so we started with security group resource the next one is the AWS instance Right, AWS instance uh, that we want to create our EC2 instance. I gave uh, this resource a name and I'm defining a few, uh, very few required things. Like I'm saying, okay, I want to use this AMI and the AMI details are coming from my data section, right? So I'm saying the ID basically comes comes from that variable right there and I'm saying I want this instance to be t2 micro so I am actually defining my security group and what key I want to use because you do need to generate a, a private key if you don't have it so I create a, I already have my key my key name is this and then that's what I'm going to use. I have some user data commands and this is going to help me deploy the web application I was talking about. So, and this will basically install HTTPD. That's like Apache web server. And I'm going to just create a simple static web page and put it in this location. So once the deployment is done through Terraform, I should be able to uh, just uh, get to the web page and uh, back to my ec2 instance so let me create a, a directory first so let's say learn terraform and then inside the directory i'm going to create a file called web app tf this is my terraform configuration file or a module and i'm going to first run this terraform init command so this init command basically installs a a few plugins actually because Terraform has different plugins for different vendors so now we are working with AWS so it downloads and installs uh, AWS plugins and whatever it needs to basically to be able to run our commands right now we can go ahead 
like since we have our configuration file ready we can go ahead and run a command called terraform plan and that should basically tell us what resources are going to be created and since this is our first time it's basically going to create all these resources and things like that so this is similar to your git diff command or if you're aware of sql execution plans like just to like learn upfront like what's going to happen right and you can see there's so many attributes that you can define if you want but we have defined only a few and that's enough for us let's go ahead and it says like we are planning to add two zero to change zero to destroy so two resources to be added so now we are going to just go ahead and apply so i ran the terraform apply command and now we are basically in business right so i just had to enter yes to to confirm the creation of these things if you don't remember seeing this part which is the output part so i said like i want to see the ip of the instance that gets created so this variable which comes out of the aws instance resource will print the ip value so now if i just take this ip and then go to my browser and let me actually open a incognito and then i just had to refresh it a few times and then so our uh, terraform basically deployed this web application and uh, we are able to get to it from my browser so we downloaded and installed the software and we created a terraform configuration file we ran the init plan apply commands and let's uh, verify the console to make sure the, the ec2 instance was indeed created go back in here and you should see two instances you can see two instances this is the one that was created by terraform so it is running and I'm gonna go ahead and run a terraform destroy command just to make sure that the resources are destroyed because all these IPs are visible and that's gonna just do a cleanup and destroy the EC2 instance and with that we come to the end of the demo and if you need uh, any questions answered just leave the questions in the comment section and what else would you like to learn just uh, let me know in the comments